Good evening and welcome to another episode of Let's Talk Crypto, the live stream where we talk about crypto news and price action. Currently, we see Bitcoin a little bit in that red down below the $30,000 mark, Ethereum still hovering around that $2,000 level, down approximately 2%, the rest of the crypto space, the altcoins, you know, pretty much getting that pullback, guys. This is the pullback, maybe the last pullback before we get this altcoin season that we're waiting for, okay, guys? So here on the channel, we look for opportunities whether we go up or down bearish or bullish it doesn't matter we want to make sure that we are one step ahead of the market preparing our portfolios to make some of those gains and if you appreciate the strategy do yourself a favor and subscribe to the channel click the bell so you don't miss out on any of my future videos and of course you can follow me on all those socials the links are in the description below and finally if you have any projects that you want to talk about this evening let me know in the comment section and i'll pull up the charts we'll look at some strategies and plans so that we can you know make those gains guys you know right now a lot of us are waiting for this altcoin season and i'm definitely one of them and this is why i'm looking for dips i'm looking for opportunities guys this is the way we do it buying low selling high you don't buy into the pumps you take profits on the pumps and that's what i've been doing on some of the tokens you know some of the tokens that i've been talking about on the channel have been doing very very well like render um avax pulled up and that's pretty good to see avax as a heavyweight you know leading the market and doing its thing you know it is one of the blue chips or larger cap coins and when we see these things happen in these projects it starts to give us a, that inclination that maybe the money flow is starting to begin entering these altcoins and that's going to give us that bullishness that we need good evening dj uh dj and tim good evening happy monday sure happy monday sure imx we'll take a look we'll put that on the list we'll put it on the list you know that's one of my go-to's waiting for opportunities on imx for sure sometimes it's we don't get them but sometimes we do and if we do get them we better take advantage okay but first first let's kind of look sc scroll through this market real quick real quick i want to see if anything kind of did oh and algo and algo of course we got lots to discuss on algo for sure and you know i'm bullish on algo i like algo i've been buying heavy into algo and i've been tweeting about it today and i put it on the new telegram uh group that i formed obviously if you're interested the links are um right now they're in the in the last video the video that i posted today i posted a link in that description and i'll make sure that i have it going on forward i just created it i'm just trying to get it going like that i can you know shoot out some alpha throughout the day as i'm looking at scenarios and i'm expecting algorand put to potentially become oversold and in, in, or undervalued in the next little while considering that it's you know under fire currently we're going to talk about some news very soon but let's continue looking here at this market let's see if we can find any opportunities or just to analyze the market just enough to give us an idea of what the overall momentum is looking like i see a lot of top rounded top scenarios here which leads me to believe that we're losing a little bit momentum if we confirm this with some momentum oscillators maybe we could expect a short-term pullback here on some of these alts that have run up like solana did pretty good you know dogecoin right now is up a little bit so, uh cardano did pretty well as well um you know and this is the thing you know when you're doing good it's time to walk away it's best to walk away on top right so avax up 17 and a half percent doing pretty good in the last seven days i don't know I'm, I'm compelled not to take profits on avax since you know 
I think it's still there's still a lot left in it, so I'm gonna hang tight on Avax, and it's not that volatile in consider like considering uh, like if we look into a lower cap tokens. And by the way, that's what I'm kind of looking at lately. I'm looking for projects under for sure under 100 million market cap for myself. I'm looking more or less 50 million is good, slightly under that. I would be happy with that, and even some micro um, um, caps. I'm down for the micro caps. Those DGEN plays, you never know, right? They could pop up and do some uh good gains and that's the thing it doesn't mean you have to bet the farm on those riskier projects but you know even if you get in with a small small position you can make some really good gains so i'm, I'm all about that chain link looking pretty strong here i don't know if we're gonna get a, a rejection soon or what what's up with chain link i wouldn't mind looking at chain link many individuals are looking at that overall range that sideways price action are we gonna get that anytime soon let's take a look um ton coin ton coins made by the developers of telegram right so it could be a good thing i don't know i was thinking about maybe i should buy in Te uh, telegram does have some blockchain integration which i want to go look into a little bit further um to see what is up there with that ecosystem not a bad scenario not a bad scenario it's a large cap considering 23 not bad um stellar taking a dip file coin looking slumpy you can see that overall we're rounding at the tops or we're getting a little bit of a slump already you know taking those dips uh, icp doesn't look like it's being affected up 24 and a half percent arbitrum is going sideways after a 37 percent pump 40 percent pump we're getting a slight pullback but nothing crazy just yet i feel like it's in that scenario where it's either going to break those th this trend or this sideways price action and maybe do like a bart simpson style to the downside it could be right it could be um and we know that it hesitated at a, about a dollar 20 for a significant amount of time so a retest or a back test of that range just as a confirmation those you know still fine it does happen all the time so i'm, I'm maybe i'll take a look at arbitrum arb let's put that down just in case and obviously guys if you have any of those projects i'll put them up in priority right um let's see what else we got here quant still scaling back you know the hundred dollar mark on quant is very important algorand of course algo 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 we'll look at algorand i have that on my list we'll for sure look at that uh the graph still looking strong up there 17 and a half percent in the last seven days is this profit taking time you know it's profit taking maybe i'll take a look at that one right because the graph is one of the, my go-to's for sure and the, with the ai narrative we get the graph pumping as well phantom i think hasn't even moved yet in my opinion i think phantom still has a lot left in it to begin it didn't even begin in my opinion so i'm looking out for phantom stack still retracing to lower levels down you know uh percent in a bit but really you know dcaing is the uh, is of the agenda for me regarding stacks i'm buying uh as it comes down i'm sure it broke a tr the trend i'm sure it's you know continuing downwards at 84 cents i might take a look at that one and, and see if there's an opportunity there okay let's continue down we said we have imx multiverse egld i don't like that it's still going sideways doing pretty good Axie, not really interested i'm looking for new plays new gaming plays this new bull run i want to get into something fresh and see what's going on out there um the nfts i also want to get my first round of nfts i've never bought in one i never i don't even own any nfts and i wouldn't mind i'm gonna just kind of shop around as soon as i um as soon as i feel like it's right i still feel like this is so still too early to get into very speculative assets right we didn't really even get a confirmation low on bitcoin like we just got a, a nice recovery here can we back, is bitcoin gonna back test the breakout here and you know give us that confirmation low and that that's when we'll see a lot of people scale into a lot more speculative assets for sure imx we'll take a look there's a little bit of a dip seven percent to the downside that's significant but you know overall it's still very up right the trend is still potentially up so we'll take a look we'll see if we broke trend we broke structure key levels of structure is important what the momentum is doing we'll take a look there and of course look at the momentum on radix still going up without hesitation higher highs higher highs I, i'm almost guaranteeing that it's definitely the bearish divergence hitting critical levels of resistance this is time to take profits in my opinion 81 percent to the upside guys de-risk 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 that's my opinion obviously none of this is financial advice it could definitely keep on going but in the short term time frame if you de-risk a little bit and we get a you know a 10 to 15 20 percent dip which happens after 81 percent right you have some capital so you have some dry powder to buy dips with so that's the reason why we take a, um, a little bit of profits here and there right um it could be the 27 i'm even thinking even the 25 
25 is a big level right so anticipate right the, the only thing that we have to do is just let it come down i don't want to fomo into anything i know that we try to put our horizontals based on volume and all of that but when you're getting this type of scenario where the bears are going to start celebrating any moment now they're going to you know uh grave dancing any minute you're going to see it and be so i just rather you know let the momentum oscillator show me when maybe the bears are done and then we'll get in i don't want to front run try to front run or try to catch a falling knife whatsoever on the, this dump because this is could be the confirmation low and we don't know if it's going to double bottom and i hate to say it but we don't even know if we're going to create a lower low right a lot of people are saying it's done the low is in but you know that the market tends to hunt liquidity and get the majority of the individuals wrecked and if the majority right now think that we have a bottom already in that means it's it could be possible right so i just want to be prepared with that i want to be blindsided i don't want to be one of those guys that are just saying straight up you know all-time highest price discovery i just want to make sure that we're on the right side of the trade if, if we do come down to lower levels if we see bitcoin dump or whatever happens you never know even black swan events or what gary gensler is up to you never know what that speech that he just made you know like it's his last uh speech of all like I, you know we'll talk about news in a second but you get what i mean at the end of the day i don't know what, when bitcoin is going to hit the absolute bottom without a confirmation low i don't know no one knows right it's just a game a game of probability okay let's continue here and we'll look at the bitcoin chart in a second optimism rounding off maybe getting a little bit of a pullback here to lower levels this is the thing you see a lot of rounded tops and if there's bearish divergence on those rounded tops it's time to take profit right injective again 60 percent to the upside guys take those profits what is it going to do another 50 another 60 percent the likelihood of that happening is slim to none okay it could happen right but slim to none right so i say start scaling up i like to take about 20 percent at a time uh, that for me is good enough and I did that on render a couple of times you know what maybe I'll share my progress on my personal trading with render because I've been trading render up and down very uh, significantly let's put it that way I've been buying dips and doing things on other um, projects but render is one of those that I've been trying to really really enter and exit the market perfectly and it didn't happen it, did, it rarely does happen perfection is very rare it's how you react to the possible scenarios that makes you successful and I'll show you what I mean once we get into it we'll look at render later on and because I don't at the end of the day I'd rather focus on what you guys are interested in render may not be it right now and to tell you the honest truth it's not the time to buy into render uh big get getting a little bit of a dip i wouldn't mind getting a bit of that because you can save on gas fees if you're trading on there and so on and so forth so i wouldn't mind getting a bit there so that i can pay my fees in big get tokens uh, bgb token uh casper bullish sentiment overall uh if we get a double top here if we get another confirmation high with a double top bearish divergence maybe we come down and then maybe i'm interested 30 percent to the upside looking pretty bullish here overall not bad of a scenario so i like casper um i'll write it down just in case i usually write things down and and see what happens right uh, what else what else and the token that i covered today was bellow uh, velodrome low cap token it could definitely do well it's part of the optimism um narrative or um network or ecosystem and in that case it's a dex it's a dex that you know is an optimism dex so i figured with a low market cap and if you compare it to other dexes with that like for example uniswap which is uh, an ethereum based token uh, exchange a decentralized exchange but now they even have binance smart chain on it uh but what about optimism they come up with their own if optimism is very successful we're going to see that the official decks or the main decks on optimism do very well also so i figured why not and since it's very low cap right now it's i think it's 30 million market cap i think i saw that um uh, you can check out the video i got into a little bit of detail regarding it um and i think it, it will definitely run up with optimism and within its own ecosystem and and it is a big one so i'm expecting some good price action on that one so i i figured that's a good one to take a chance on for sure frack share going sideways uh what else render we talked about we talked about these let's see anything else casper we saw that uh, doo -doo -doo. uh trust wallet jittering there i don't know still looking okay i guess baby doge coming down i have a little bit of baby doge um not too much but sure i have a bit here and there singularity net i'm still waiting for these ai tokens to kind of cool off maybe they did maybe they didn't but um i'm more interested in um 
Vaya, if anything, I would be buying the dip on Vaya as soon as I see a good opportunity, and which is around the corner in my book. I think that we're going to hit a nice level of support very soon in a lot of these AI tokens. And then I'm going to just get one, get into one that I see with a lower cap right now. At a, you know, a Singularity is the largest one right now. I want to get to something a little bit lower so I can get more gains. If we get a nice pump, all of the AI tokens will rally. And I'd rather get into something that has a little bit more uh, market cap to snag, right? Uh, loot ring coming into to the 100 wow loop ring uh loop ring was interesting in the previous bull run you know with that whole gme and all that you know they thought the gme stocks guys thought loop ring was gonna team up with gme and all of that and i don't know fell through i guess but caspa is more interesting to me okay caspa this dip it looks juicy 17 percent in the last seven days are we hitting some levels i know it ran up really quick so at the end of the day 17 20 percent is not even that much but it may be an opportunity we should be gearing up okay let's look at the news quick 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 not much there's not much happening there um whoa that's an interesting one let's see <laughs> let's see the bookmarks that i got going on throughout the day i just bookmark a couple of things here and there this dude right here was so bullish on algorand okay so bullish when he was at mit he was so bullish actually he w used to work at mit with i forget the guy silvio there he is uh silvio uh michaelis i don't know okay anyways he's the algorand guy, dude and he's uh, obviously a, a, a very educated individual big proponent of cryptocurrency and blockchain technology and that's when gary gensler was also and he was tooting the horn basically saying algo is great it could be used for this it could be used for that pumping bags it sounded like he was a holder because he was definitely pumping some bags and then all of a sudden algorand is being targeted through the exchange i forget which exchange is getting sued right now i have it here somewhere but algorand is getting sued by uh this dude and of course he's shilling algorand and then he goes and targets algorand so this is the biggest story currently because at the end of the day Right now, there is a senator in America that's looking to basically get him, you know, evacuated from his position. We want him out. For sure, we want him out. So, you know, today this speech was a little bit interesting. You know, he's like his last speech serving in the last two years has been an honor. It sounds like he's going away. Is he setting himself to run away somewhere or 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 what? Did he pump enough bags on Algo? Now he's gone. I don't know. I just don't like his vibe. And I'm sure many of us here in crypto land don't really appreciate his vibe either. But nonetheless, this is what we got to deal with currently. And I think we're doing the right thing to get the right people in power to get rid of bad actors like this that are not doing the right thing. Like at the end of day if he wants to regulate cryptocurrency and he wants uh, um you know to be uh, under his jurisdiction he's got to provide transparency he can't just be uh, suing people without any transparency and i see th i see that's what's happening here it's almost like he's just collecting he's a he's 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 a mobster he's just going from one project to the next collecting 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 through lawsuits yeah bitrex there you go thanks one uh one day rewards bitrex like geez man like this guy's got to get his act together like i understand his it, he's been hired for a job but he doesn't have to do it in such a dirty way especially the fact that he was a big proponent of cryptocurrency and blockchain technology if you listen to some of his lectures at mit he was he's a, a bitcoin max maxi he was big on crypto he's big on blockchain and all of a sudden he just turns his back on it like or or snakes it like for me big time you know big time issues there and it kind of you know raises some red flags for me like what is he up to like you know what i mean he should get fired he's pumping bags here and then he dumps on the market Jeez. anyways enough about that i'm getting fired up here let's look at charts that's what we do here on the channel guys we focus on price action because at the end of the day that's how we can kind of get an edge on the market yes those news events give us an idea of what's to come but a lot of the time the charts and it's very cliche but the charts tell us beforehand and 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 the charts can give us that opportunity to say you know what let's buy dips here based on the evaluation of the price right so momentum is a big part of my strategy and we've been focusing on the potential momentum shift as bitcoin has been going up and we see the momentum oscillators you know kind of die down here and get dispersed divergence we see that the macd's you know 
position itself pretty accurately for a continuation down right we got that ema cross and i kind of you know we kind of thought about this potentially happening you know there was a high probability like it happened here it could happen again and guess what it did and here we're getting some red histogram bars now could we say it's gonna happen like this again and get back down to the bearish control zone possible right the likelihood it's all about likelihood it's all about probability and here we are getting that pullback now the question is how low can we go here on bitcoin and in the meantime as bitcoin comes down i know my charts are a mess i've been getting comments lately about the amount of indicators and things i use guys it works for me it works for me that's it the, what works for you may not work for me and vice versa and i know it's a bit of a painting here but it does work for me okay so um at the end of the day if we do start coming down and we continue coming down how low are we gonna go and how badly is it gonna impact altcoins obviously if bitcoin dips hard people are gonna be fearful even for their altcoin positions they might start liquidating they might start selling we might start see you know severe red price action it could happen and then obviously on the bounce of bitcoin we might see the alt beginning of an altcoin season and this is something that i've been talking about here on the channel is that the dip in bitcoin might be our last opportunity to buy the dips on all coins before the altcoin season right because we don't know this range that bitcoin is going to perform if bitcoin goes range bound even as low as about twenty five thousand, for me that would be the likely scenario based on the fact that in the charts this is a, the only weak spot in the immediate short term that we could probably get into soon is from twenty seven six six zero to about twenty five two hundred okay this empty space you can see there's very little price action right here looking left so if we break below this structure not only are we going to break some sort of a trend here happening but we're also going to break and create a low low and we have a gap right below it so the neckline the critical level the ice line the most important line of support is at about twenty seven thousand seven hundred and sixty bucks give or take and for me if we break below there then we don't have much support all the way down to about twenty five thousand and that's where we might come down really quick maybe dip maybe get some 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 wicks or whatever the case may be and of course you see that that's the reason why i have a green arrow there because i'll be buying the dip if it does happen now we could even come down lower and and still very much so stay within this bearish uh, this bullish trend right we'll create a higher high even if we come down uh, even as low as about twenty two thousand. create uh touch uh this value area is it the value area low yeah it's the value area high right so even if we come down to this blue line and we do have a little bit of a gap here but even if we come down here touch this trend line and continue up it's still very bullish it is still a higher low so all good if we do come down let's just be prepared that this could be the zone and depending on how long it takes because this could be a head and shoulders shoulder head shoulder we can kind of create this pivot point get that confirmation low that confirmation high with a uh, lower high follow through price action uh and then continue you down and eventually maybe we set the oscillators right around the zone which would be very confident with the twenty-five thousand dollar mark right and very confident with the trend line very possible so let's hold on here what i would do on the daily this is what i'm thinking of doing here on bitcoin is especially waiting for the daily momentum oscillator the rsi and mostly the rsi to get back into oversold territory let's see how low we can go let's tag in this 30 percent mark here on the rsi and see where we are regarding price action if we're down here we know that the likelihood of getting a bounce is there to start dcing if we break this trend guys we're looking for a break of structure which is below 19 and for me that's the la another area of potential dip scenario by the dip because this is the last line of support or else we start breaking structure we start breaking breaking critical levels and we start making bigger patterns and bigger patterns right now like we don't want to cup uh, inverse uh, head and shoulders right here or cup inverse cup and handle or anything like that because that would mean that we're going to break down to lower levels and ultimately what would be bullish to be honest is a retracement get down to these levels get a confirmation low that this is the absolute low this was the low and then we can we load up right around here see these momentum oscillators come right down we load up and then we continue upwards that would be ideal now the ideal things don't always happen but i definitely want to be prepared for them so bitcoin currently i don't know i think it's still safe to de-risk 
it should be id risked right into these two arrows these red arrows that's where id risked on the four hour look at it we're in a, a tr little bit of an upwards trend i know it's a mess i know it's a mess but it works for me here we are in this trend upward slope we break this trend maybe we start coming down to these levels okay so i'm focusing i'm keeping myself focused we didn't even get oversold just yet here on the rsi emas are still facing down nothing really is changing here on the macd for the next little while i'm anticipating to get into this type of scenario once we get into this set type of scenario we might see this type of price action right if it does happen that's the ideal time to start buying dips and if you kind of look at it it might come down come down to about twenty five thousand. if this does happen i'm preparing just prepare this game of probability we're down approximately three percent we're closing the daily candle in a few minutes um and uh, actually about five minutes and asia is waking up is, are they going to push the markets even lower i don't know let's see let's see if we get those opportunities okay so let's look at imx i usually talk about ethereum let's just look quick also very similar scenario but it's an altcoin so it might go sideways and wait for bitcoin to get some support and then we'll see ethereum go up a little bit more maybe hit about that twenty-three thousand dollar mark uh finally very possible but we're getting that bearish divergence so i don't know i'm feeling like a back test of this break up to the upside this statistically speaking should have broken down so a, a decent back test it would have been bullish anyway so let it come down confirm this as support and then continue up to a, uh, about 2300 for me that would be good okay let's look at imx altcoins guys i'm focusing on altcoins i really want to get those bags nice and packed because if the altcoin season comes i don't want to be left you know basically without the gains i want to be i want to make sure that i, I, I line my portfolio properly so imx is one of them and you can see just by looking at it quickly like look at it. let's get in the daily because the the four hour gives you a lot of detail i want to remove this i'm going to clean up because i know i'm a bit of a mess just a bit not a lot just a bit and here we are bearish divergence follow through price action happening right here is this the confirmation high of a lower high it could be and this looks like it is look at the rsi pulling back the macd is getting that pale green histogram bar looking for those ema crosses it looks like we're going to come back to this trend potentially look for support right back here at about 93 cents or so um hitting that 200 daily ema getting tagging in this green arrow is very likely here on i um on imx very likely but big picture style this is very similar to what uh, uh head and shoulders is forms the shoulder head shoulder shoulder to the head bearish divergence the last shoulder is the confirmation price action and could this be the pivot point could we eventually end up putting one of these in right and this is the thing dip back up dip back up finally come down buy the dip get back up right even if we come down to about 62 cents uh, that's more or less an 886 786 retracement based on fib right it's still bullish you're still creating a higher low and that's the confirmation low that would make so many people bullish that's when you'll start to see the smart money piling in we'll see an accumulation phase down here and that's when we will be getting in because that's the confirmation we made this low this was the previous low this is the confirmation low and so i'm waiting for that a lot of people are doing that even for bitcoin waiting for that confirmation low v recoveries are rare and it would be out of place to have a v recovery right now basically a v recovery taking us back to all-time highs it would be out of place the having is still about a year away we have summer around the corner which is usually a very dry time for the markets so really am i preparing like it's gonna go to all-time highs currently not quite i'm very hesitant as you can see i'm still dcing so here on the on the imx chart i'm still expecting a potential dip or continuation of the momentum to the downside let's get into oversold territory and then maybe we'll start calling some shots for buying the dip in the meantime i'm just keeping an eye here 93 cents coming down to about 73 cents we do have a little bit of a, a a collapse in volume you know look at the dip look at the volume gap so i'm looking at maybe that being the potential scenario to buy dips you have this previous high that we once tested before we could come down to that level once again it's very very possible let's see what happens but my first buy order is at about 93 cents to a dollar uh maybe no maybe less than a dollar i want to get as low as possible remember on the four hour time frame that i am trading currently i have to nickel and dime long term spot zoom out right zoom out if you zoom out this is still good you can buy the dip dollar cost average in fact this this token is fairly new so you can't really zoom out too much and get too confident but on other tokens you can zoom out and you can see you know we're pretty good we're, we have a lot of potential still to the upside based on this fat retracement that we got but 
if you're trading the four hour i'm trying to nickel and dime a few um trades in between and so i can pack more along the way that type of thing so i wouldn't mind getting in at about 93 cents okay let's look at the four hour quick see if there's anything we got rejected didn't even get um reset here which tells me that maybe maybe we come back up and you know make a higher high it could be possible unless we get to these zones like up here extreme levels extreme levels i am very hesitant now we could go sideways we could finish off this scenario we could come down and kind of go sideways a bit it's very possible for me i'm gonna wait and hesit hesitation right now this hesitation currently tells me just wait a bit and let's see what happens coming down to lower levels obviously we're down seven percent today that's a, a decent little dip right and if we get another bearish day tomorrow maybe another six seven percent and then we're talking right we're starting to look for you know double digit uh, savings you know fire sales okay that's my take on imx i'm i'm being very patient here i'm not going to rush into anything the retracement is not even that that significant now if you take from the actual top now you might your argument and be like look i'm getting a 30 percent discount sure but um, the momentum is not telling me much just yet so i'm gonna wait a little bit i'll keep you posted on imx if i'm buying the dip obviously guys you feel free to join me on that telegram group because i'm gonna start being a little bit more active as to what i'm doing throughout the day obviously i'm full-time crypto so i'm in front of the charts pretty much all day and i'm looking for opportunities all day long so i might as well share uh with you guys as i'm i'm doing my thing and and there's a um a section there um that you guys can obviously do your own trade setups and share them with the community so i'm going to try to build that up for us so that we can have a space to share ideas okay let's continue here what's going on what else uh let's look at algo of course algo isn't big in the news right now i'm expecting it to get a slightly over uh, undervalued and that's unfortunate it happens all the time let's let's be frank about it because gary has been suing all kinds of people and they just held up and you know, look what happened to binance like you know binance is it's fine it's doing fine like you know at the end of the day look at it like what's wrong with binance right so just forget it you know what i mean let the fomo pass maybe we can take an um you know an, get an opportunity to buy at lower levels we've been going range bound here for the last little while here on algorand which leads me to believe that we could break out very very soon okay now of course now that we have this fud we don't know if it's going to interrupt this potential momentum to the upside now the macd here is not looking the greatest here on the daily look at the ema crosses coming to the downside for me this is not the greatest setup right pale green histogram bars looking like you know with those emas but it happened here and it continued right so who's to say that we won't continue for a continuation to the upside so i'm going to take it with a grain of salt what i do see is the price action going up slightly while the uh, macd is uh, you know actually you know what it's 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 respecting it and the momentum is being respected right now so it's a 50 50 for me it's a coin toss currently uh, but you have to zoom out for, for you to get bullish these are the bottoms these two green arrows were great opportunities to buy dips for me these were great this is if you got in here and you got in here with these two bottoms this is the time and this is on short term potentially take some profits if we break through this gap take a little bit off the table and see if we get a rejection again because we didn't even touch the 200 daily just yet not even this did if you think about it so if we do touch it we should get a reaction we didn't even touch it here so we didn't technically get a reaction so um maybe de-risk just a bit but i'm definitely holding my long-term spot no matter what happens if algo comes down for a dip based on this fud i'll be buying in no problem i'll be spamming that buy button um so choppy so sideways look at that range bound so range bound so really there's no real ta you, really you just gotta zoom out zoom out look at this this is one of those scenarios zoom out look at look where we are really bottom 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 can you get any better of a fire sale yeah you could you know nickel and dime a bit but really look at that huge getting back to you know even two bucks that would be great that would be pretty much a golden pocket retracement more or less okay so perfect scenario to get in start dcaing start being willing to hold for about a year to two years give or take right so consider that but in your short term you know it's a coin toss currently we could come back down and touch this trend line and get a second opportunity or and you can see based on the momentum it's pretty much a coin toss we're right in the middle consolidating right here in the middle of these two waves 
So make a decision, Algo. Are we going up or are we coming down for a back test as confirmation? So either way, guys, right now for me, this is not actionable. Only if you're willing to hold and uh, you know huddle for uh, the bull run. That is fine. You're still in a great zone for buying the dips. You're not far away from the from the the bottoms here so overall algorand i'm bullish fundamentally i'm bullish even despite the fud i'm still bullish okay let's look at chain link i think chain link might be a little bit more interesting let's see not really not really unfortunately not really the only thing that i can say is that as we're filling up this price action the gap is getting a little bit smaller so that's an important thing to really um consider the gap now really is up here now i'm gonna put this up here I'm going to drag this out there because now this is the real gap and yeah, maybe oh, the gap kind of right here. Okay. I just want you to be aware that we're still within this channel. We could definitely still get rejected here. If we do get back up, that's why I have the red, red arrow. Who's to say that we can't get rejected here? Right, we got that bearish divergence. We did come down. We, were, we weren't we were really able to get into lower levels or touch the bottom of the trend again. So this is good. This is a sign of a slight accumulation. People holding, not selling. That's why we created a higher low. Now, are we going to create a higher high here? We, right now, we're really testing this area. We're testing this previous high. We're testing the potential um, liquidity gap because we do have some liquidity here. We do have some volume. But right after about $99.40, you can see that the gap really does open up and we have no price action looking left to act as a resistance going forward. So this is why I kind of looking at, is this a potentially a good time to potentially de-risk? I would be looking at key things, key um indicators bearish divergences os momentum oscillators being overbought uh we get into the lower time frames for sure getting on the four hour looking at these two peaks for example one and two that's bearish divergence out bearish divergence at critical levels of resistance out you can see that you get what i mean like these two peaks price actions going up while the rsi is coming down that's bearish divergence that's time to de-risk now, if you look here, what's happening here? Look, price action's going up, RSI is coming down at critical levels of resistance, de-risk. You, you can keep on going. Uh, price action's going up. Okay, this one kind of faked us out a little bit. You know, it's not 100%, but you can see we're still, this area, the reason why I probably faked a lot of people out is because we didn't have any other price action looking left to confirm it as a potential resistance, whereas this one we do. We have this previous price action. So a lot of the times it's hard to get into the first wave, but after, you have previous price action to judge potential ranges right and this is why so far this has been pretty good range bound price action and it looks like about 30 percent range here that you could have traded up and down you know for months what is it yeah like if you were able to snag even the 30 percent out of this 40 percent range you're good but here on the four hour you can see that we're overbought getting that bearish divergence right so this is the problem we did it here we did it back there three times and here we are potentially getting that bearish divergence price action is going up rsi is coming down so probability wise could we come down for a dip maybe it's very it's possible here on the four hour we're overbought and we're looking maybe to come back down we can get back up there again and maybe spike to this level uh, at a, uh, nine dollars and forty cents is the place to take profits short term, right? Short term profits. But if we back test, so it's a coin toss again. It's a coin toss. But then again, if you're in a coin toss scenario, zoom out. Okay, this is the thing. Now we're back into you know bull run expectations, bull run rally, a year and a half outlook. Look at this. We're at the bottom of the range, going sideways perfect level of support like almost like stable coin style look at this really going sideways and if you look at it forget previous highs because that's that's not really the best way to look at it okay just just be modest about things these three tops probably is the golden pocket retracement 36 dollar litecoin i mean sorry chain link is perfect here perfect scenario to get from seven dollars where we are right now eight dollars more or less up to about 37 good gains to be had um so i would be you know thinking about potentially buying the dip for a long-term hold if anything on chain link it hasn't broken out many people waiting for for uh 
chain link to uh, melt faces but it hasn't happened just yet we're waiting for this break we get this break and again look below even on the daily we can start making that break even a bit lower at about eight dollars and 35 cents where we are right now because you can see it kind of starts tapering in at that level so that's why i moved it up but at the end of the day this is critical levels right so i feel like doing one of these i do this ever so often i double up on the on the um on the red boxes so that i can make this zone more critical more red so i know this is a bigger bigger weak spot but this is still fairly weak so let's see what happens here breaking above the 200 daily staying above it is bullish getting some volume into this into this move to the upside may get chain link going finally okay let's look at arbitrum obviously guys just a reminder if you have any projects that you want me to look at let me know in the comment section and i'll put them as priority but i want to take a look at arbitrum see what's happening there arbitrum arbitrum definitely doing something lately let's see if i can quickly arb what's going on here higher high i bought down here at 1.2 ish getting that rejection i'm not taking profits i think i mentioned this already just leave it if it comes down it's okay i'm willing to take a take a hit i'm willing i don't want to i don't want to uh, start exiting anything too early in the game um it's not a, the biggest bag anyway you get a confirmation though higher low i'll be getting in with some confidence again let these momentum oscillators reset just a little bit more let's get some ema crosses and then we'll pile in just a little bit more for another leg up this technically technically speaking it's the second leg up that is usually the biggest so that's the thing usually get three waves up right unless you get a five wave structure which takes you really high if this is just going to be a three wave structure let's say a minimum the, the the second wave is usually pretty long right so if we get a nice dip uh, we will see a lot of bulls get in a lot of bulls buying the dip and then we'll get in as well but right now let's see what happens let's see what happens i don't see much here much of an edge even on the one hour let's see here it's slowly coming down nothing crazy even the emas look at that a little bit choppy in the mid zone so let's just wait let's see what happens i don't want to my position is good so i don't mind but if you have don't have any skin in the game it's still fairly high right so if you want to make sure because there's no much price action looking left if you want to make sure that you have something just dca maybe put in 10 to 20 percent of what you're willing to buy right now it's okay because this thing could continue this could be a bull flag for all we know right the reset could just be um arbitrum going sideways that could be the reset sometimes the momentum oscillators do reset while the price action just continues going sideways that happens in bullish conditions where a project is really really bullish and arbitrum can definitely be one of those so maybe it's a matter of dcaing just a bit if you don't have any skin in the game okay uh, but for me i'm waiting for a, a potential dip maybe at least touching uh these lower levels we have a little bit of a gap here you can see a little bit of a weak zone so maybe at a dollar 44 i'll buy the dip or consider it previous highs are here previous price action yeah we got some good confluence there to potentially buy dips on arbitrum so nothing just yet nothing just yet um the graph i haven't talked about the graph in so long it was one of the ones that i focused on uh during christmas quite a bit during the, the new year season down here at the bottom um uh, that was this uh, the graph was one of my go-to's uh, with the ai narrative it ran with the ai narrative and here we are right now i'm looking i'm still looking still looking for potential dip scenarios we got that bearish divergence a really strong one right here in fact we got the follow-through price action we're getting a double top scenario i don't know if we're gonna break out to the upside if we do guys look at this we got a huge gap right above we can snap for about from about 18 cents 18.8 .8 cents to about 29 cents in no time look left no price action nothing so that's really bullish overall if we continue going up and th this is the agenda that we're going to get to higher levels bring it because we're going to snap to about 29 cents this this buy the dip scenario that we bought here and all of this accumulation down here in january is going to finally swell up but what about the the potential momentum are we losing momentum right now the macd is still looking pretty bullish nothing really really affecting the, the continuation to the upside ema is facing up green histogram bars okay we got a pale green one but so what so far so good the rsi still trekking up no bearish divergence here on the daily just yet on this area 
right price action is still going up while the rsi is going up but we did get bearish divergence right here so we gotta really understand that right now what we did is get a confirmation low a, low, a couple of lower lows now this one is scary because it looks like it's trying to break out and if it does break out and basically create a higher high on the rsi or meet at least this level we're going to invalidate the bearish divergence and we can potentially snap up so this is the thing it, the, the buying the dip is important now we're pretty much you know in the middle in the middle it's a coin toss you're in the 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 rally we could get rejected right here at 17 based on previous highs or we can even get rejected as we enter the volume gap you know that usually happens we get reactions as we enter and exit the gaps so we could be very close to our rejection we're almost getting to overbought territory here on the daily and let's get into the four hour quick and see what's happening with this local price action um price action going up rsi getting that bearish divergence the only thing that's looking okay is the macd looking for a little bit of a cross to the upside it could happen so this is the thing right now 50 50 not really actionable we did break out of this pennant it could be a bullish continuation pattern to the upside okay measured move is pretty much in line with the 29 cent mark right so we got to consider both scenarios bearish and bullish what could happen here is if we consider this a bull flag and we get the breakout which was pretty much 70 percent towards the apex of the triangle which is textbook like we'll be well into you know this volume gap so that's the thing consider it consider that this could be the scenario where we break out buying the dip is important important this is the reason why it's because if you bought the dip right now you don't care what happens if you bought in the red you wouldn't care and we analyzed these gaps in, on purpose because that's where we usually get reactions these are great times to buy dips during weak weak spots in the charts like right now is not the time to get in because it's up it's up from this buy uh, this low it's up 56 percent from the the opportunity that we got into okay and i put it right in between if you were able to snag anywhere around this area you're still up between 40 to 50 percent give or take okay so pretty good zone to buy the dip not the greatest zone to start going in into fresh longs here on the graph but again again i have to say it let's zoom out a second because if you zoom out you can see what's going on here with grt we're at the bottom of the range guys and in fact we're really bottoming we bottomed out pretty hard in fact we 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 wow like it doesn't even look the greatest but the graph is bullish i like the graph so fundamentally really bullish but look at this chart like even if we got to two bucks guys it's 29 cents right now this is the undervalued token that you're looking for if we get even to the golden pocket or something like that it's a good opportunity to, for a long-term hold by the dip nice and slow uh dollar cost average and consider long term if anything if we dip you have to have the conviction to be uh dollar cost averaging to bring your average cost down i like uh the graph i'm one of those um the graph uh, holders that you know i don't ever i really don't like taking profits on the graph based on my the previous bull run right here look at this Ooh looking good i think we're gonna potentially get a continuation up eventually let's see what happens with bitcoin if bitcoin drags the market down um, we'll get an opportunity to buy the dips and if not we'll see the graph get to higher levels so be it we're ready regardless let's look at stacks quick i've been following stacks trying to dollar cost average in we're back into this dca zone right so for me i'm okay either way it doesn't matter um we bought here and we bought here so I'm in the mid zone. Am I going to buy in more? No, I won't. I'll wait for a, a lower low if it's going to happen. We still have a little bit of a weak spot. We're slowly filling it in. You can see it's not as weak as it used to be, but it's still fairly weak, right? Um, so we got to drag this up a little bit to really identify the fact that, you know, things are changing as we fill up the volume. Like even here, is this weak? Not really. We got to bring it down. It's not a weak spot anymore. This is the weak spot. This is around here. And we're currently testing it and the longer we test it the more we fill it up so this is the problem so we got to be really real about this we're breaking down below that trend we might want to start breaking this low to continue the trend to the downside let's see if that happens if it happens we are currently in a downwards trend right is that the case come down back up and you get the point right so let's see what happens here absolute bearish price target is the big break of structure um which is at about 55 cents and i would be going heavy right there that would be the last line in the sand for me 
absolute dip that would be amazing start buying the dip down, down there okay so if you get in the daily you can see that maybe this thing can come down to lower levels a bit more um it's slowly trekking to the downside so let's see we break up and mind you we can even break this trend still continue making this um a lower high on the rsi and still keep on coming down just because we break trend doesn't mean that the continuation to the downside won't happen remember there's ebb and flows on lower time frames this is the daily you know we can break a little bit of a bigger bounce on the four hour that will see you know a break of trend even on this daily rsi so let's see what happens here i want to get more into um stacks i like stacks i wouldn't mind getting more into it i like the the, the whole concept of building on top of bitcoin and i know bitcoin maxis don't like it too much but so what if if the market's ready for it they had other projects that did the same things in the past they, they didn't work out but if the if uh the market's ready for it so be it all right let's look at casper casper getting a nice bounce unfortunately i wasn't able to get into a nice full position i was able to get one buy order here the second one did not fill unfortunately but guess what we're in overbought territory once again with creating a higher high and did we create a higher high on the rsi not quite so that means that okay i'm, I'm gonna go i'm gonna be a little bit far-fetched here by calling this a bearish divergence but it, it kind of is we gotta we gotta admit we're getting um let's see here yeah like the price action is upward sloping it's upwards trending like it's very clear right higher highs higher highs the rsi okay, came down did this break to a higher high on this high not really so i don't know i feel like we're losing a bit of momentum we got a nice rejection here okay we got a decent rejection so for me not time to go all in never this is not buy that's buying into green candles look what happened the last time do we want to even attempt to see what could happen again we could come down again and touch this 200 daily we've done it so many times let's bring it if it comes down here we'll buy the dip again we'll dollar cost average right here at the zone as you can see i have a spider line there which is a notification that tells me when we get that actually you know what tell me when it gets to this again yes please tell me because once we get there i want to start aligning things properly we have the gap below it that we didn't fall through maybe we fall through this empty zone again this is a weak spot the 200 daily is right there again getting that we got a nice bounce right off of it here on the daily jeez i don't know overbought with no bearish divergence right now no ema crosses on the macd continuation to the upside maybe 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 or it's just going to take time to actually produce some bearish divergence like it did here higher uh this is the bearish divergence that we want you know price action is going up and then all of a sudden it starts coming down this is the pivot point right this is this is the nice scenario this is what we want right here so let's pay attention to it casper huge huge rally beautiful love it yeah uh honestly no real edge no real edge other than the macd only one that's it ema cross red histogram bars here on the four hour that's it nothing else no real edge so not really actionable to me I would not get into a, a long or even a short. I would wait for a potential retracement if it happens. If it doesn't happen, it's okay. Let it go. Let it go. We'll find another one. Uh, Cass. Uh, that one's... Let's see if I remember. I don't remember what it stands for. It's um, this one right here. Cass. What is that one? Caspa. There you go. Caspa. There, what a dip. Nice, nice retracement. We kind of, you know, anticipated something like that. Obviously, the time wasn't as accurate as it should have been. Time is the most difficult to plan out. But I expected something like this, right? If we push it over, slide it over, you know, a bit of a dip. And then, you know, a little bit of support around this zone based on the gap. You know, we have this big gap right here. And we have a little bit of a, a jitter here in the volume, which, you know, we kind of respected. But at the end of the day, I don't think it's going to hold up. I have a feeling that we are going to come down for a confirmation low that could technically be a lower low with bullish divergence. That is actionable okay so if we come back down and test this zone again and it happens to come back down maybe to about uh 20 cents or so no sorry two cents right around here that for me is very actionable right so even here like look at that oh you have the arrows here but i don't know if we're gonna come that low this is too ideal too ideal so i, I don't know i might start dollar cost averaging earlier than that just because i want to have a bag you know what i mean and i got we got a decent retracement so let's see what was the retracement like 
let's not be greedy here came down to about 40 percent uh 50 percent now we're at about 30 percent so i'm expecting a, uh, this to be like a slight dead cat bounce where a lot of algorithmic buys bought in right around the zone buy orders got triggered and quickly bought up the liquidity getting that bounce eventually that's gonna sell off people are gonna take profits and then come down and confirm that a support and if we create a lower low we're going to align ourselves for some bullish divergence right around the zone honestly there's not much look at all this chop action that's why i'm very hesitant to put horizontals here is i don't know what which one of these little spikes are, may act as support the real support comes down to lower levels 60 uh 1.6 cents 1.4 cents you get my drift right so am i gonna really put horizontals here no because there's too many there's too many things to consider here let's see what happens i'll put i'm gonna put a notif uh, notification once we get back here i want to see what happens i want to watch let's put the alert i want to watch what happens when we get back here if we do get back there hopefully most likely we will and then we'll we'll see what the momentum is looking like we'll look at what the macd is trying to do we'll look at other indicators we'll see what bitcoin's trying to do bitcoin keeps on cascading we might be able to get cast uh what is it called again uh caspa at a fire sale and that's the whole point here guys all right all right that's pretty good we finally let's look at render render that the render token has been treating me very well very well the problem is is that i did a typical thing that most traders um you know do okay so i took profit here anticipating to buy the dip i didn't buy in unfortunate okay then it rallied up okay fortunate enough i still have a position a decent position you know how i do i take 20 percent of the time i don't go all out okay then we came to this zone i'm like okay let me take a bit more profit and it broke out i didn't expect it right but it's okay no big deal we're still creating that bearish divergence then we hit this zone very close to the previous highs i'm like we see the, the the liquidity dipping we see this gap forming and i'm like there's no way there's no way i'm gonna take a bit more profit and here we are now what's my next move the reality is if you look at this i did sell okay now for me to really 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 take advantage of these sales i need to buy below th at least this buy order which is a dollar 53 so the technically what i really need to do is get back to the point of control more or less before or at least this trend line before or depending on how long it takes because this trend line can keep on going up but nonetheless what i'm expecting is a decent retracement for me to buy the dip okay so that's the thing or else I'm sacrificing potential profits. And I don't want to sacrifice any, but sometimes you're just going to have to bite the bullet and say, you know what, I could have made this, but I didn't. And it's all good. So a decent retracement, I'm looking for that. We get, it looks like we got a three wave structure to the upside and then maybe a continuation down or at least a little bit of a dip. We're getting that bearish divergence. Price action is still climbing, um, going up while the RSI is taking that little bit of a break here okay and remember what when when the price action rallies really hard usually the retracements are pretty big okay so we we got to take that into consideration um emas are still looking bullish but these histogram bars are not so we could be getting this ema cross very soon and we could see this dip and we also see that the histogram bars are getting bigger as they do come down while the the uh green histogram bars are getting smaller so that means that we could be shifting downwards eventually and get into the bearish control zone let me let me show you what i mean here right so are we shifting down is the momentum slowly coming down and that would be the opportunity that i'm looking for to buy my position back with all these profits significant profits here guys and i wouldn't mind buying my entire position back on render in in, in anticipation of a all coin season okay that's what i'm really preparing for and now 20 percent at a time i'm completely 60 percent out of my short-term spot position um and that means that i don't have very little left if we continue going to the upside to prosper off of that's the the, the issue but i'm convicted i'm okay i'm okay it doesn't matter that's the name of the game this is what trading is all about you can't know exactly what's going to happen it's just a probability and i'm going to have to find a way to react and compensate for my profit taking maybe a little too early down here just a little bit it's not uh, significant all right guys thank you for hanging out with me this evening hopefully you appreciate what i offer you here um if you do do the channel a huge favor slap the like button you know do it a couple of times it does really help out with the algorithm it does help out as a new 
channel get these videos going get this channel going get the awareness out there and of course you can follow me on the socials the links are in the description i'm gonna be um linking up all the uh the, the telegram group very soon into the um into the list below in the description so that we can join there i'm trying to get some 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 action happening on there i think that's a great place to interact and me to spread some of my alpha throughout the day no problem dj down low how's it going buddy um and at the end of the day i'm here live 7 30 eastern talking about crypto news and price action this is how we do it guys let's see what happens in the next couple of days if we get any opportunities i'll definitely try to throw some of that your way all right guys take care have a good one and don't forget buy the dip